Hey, what's up everybody? It's Crouching Tuna here. And in today's video, I wanted to take you guys through like a strategy that I've been running in Torchlight Infinite that has been pretty good for my money making. And in general, so, you know, since the card deck has sort of shifted, has changed from us really focusing on getting as much, you know, drop quantity as possible. You know, I just wanted to give some tips and tricks and my sort of take on what I think is one of the best farming sets at the moment. So as you know, since we have the new uh, auction house merch, T8 beacons are very, very cheap. T8 beacons right now are going for very, very cheap and T8 deep space even cheaper. So if we if we look here at T8 deep space, we're looking at about you know, 6 FE to 7 FE each. That means that you are, you know, kind of expected to make that money. However, you know, since you are playing deep space, you're making much, much more of that back. That doesn't even need to be, you know, in 8.1, 8.2 or 8.3. You can just be in 8.0 and you still make a ton of money. That means that you should really actually be looking to buy those T8 beacons and running T8 deep space if you can. There's no difficulty bump between T8 and T8 deep space. Overall, in general, it's going to be so much better for you if you, you know, if you can run T8, buy the T8 uh, deep space beacons because the loot that you get from T8 deep space is pretty insane. Now onto the deck. So for the deck, once you get into T8 deep space is you're going to be looking to go for all of the machine cards. So that's going to be, you know, um, Desire Machine, Honest Machines, um, Sincere Machine, Gentle Machine, as well as Friendly and Serious as well. And then you're going to be pairing that up with the cube cards. The cube cards are basically what this entire strat is. They're really, really insane. The cube cards, you know, this is going to give you additional chance to spawn Malice. Malice being the cube. Whereas uh, this one is going to give you, you know, 17% increased Malice incantations in the stage. That's some of the, you know, those monsters, those groups of monsters. And then you have Admiring Cube, which gives you additional quantity of Malice incantations in the stage as well. So you're going to be just dropping more, you know, yeah, Malice incantations and you're just going to be getting more quantity from those monsters the, that we, you know, that we were getting additional chance for here. Yeah, they're going to be dropping a ton of loot uh, you know they're sort of like a loot pinata so of course they can drop currencies and stuff like that but they can also give you um you know cube specific currencies which is what we're actually aiming to do here then you have yearning which gives you you know additional monsters in the stage again we're going to be buffing those desire incantations but the most important one this card was added this season which makes 60% of all desire crystals to become beads so desire crystals being you know the currency that you would use at the end uh, when you get to the end of the beacon, you're going to be rolling the cube. That that those are desire crystals. So instead of desire crystals, what you'll be what you'll be getting is desire beads. So they are the currency that you can use to uh, you know re-roll the cube. So when you go to your avarice, uh, you know the heart of opacity here, and you were to look at the avarice bounty, you'll see here that I have at the moment only thirteen thousand. You know because I've recently spent these. Yeah, you're going to be using these to re-roll the shop and to buy basically anything here and what i usually buy is i usually buy divinity fragments which are very useful for making divinity slates and i also buy some of the wedges and stuff like that because these sell for decent money and as well as all of flame elementium and then every so often you also have the chance of finding some pretty cool uniques so yeah you would basically just go through the shop and you would buy all these things um you know in the past maybe you wouldn't have bought everything but since it costs 250 to reroll the shop you know you just want to be spending that to reroll and then you'll just go through and you know buy everything that you see fit you're going to be having so much of this currency after you do some maps so it's definitely worth spend some time here and buy it all out and then you can actually go and sell all those currencies on the auction house and that kind of stuff. So in general, you know, you'll be dropping a ton of uh, those desire beats, but you'll also be dropping desire cores. These are very expensive, as you can see, 35. And you tend to be getting these like once every, I would say like once every 10 maps, you would find one of these. So that's a bit of a nice FE injection. But of course, since you are farming deep space, you'll be getting a lot of, you know, precious uniques, all of, uh, you know, additional cards and that kind of stuff and a ton of raw FE drops as well, as well as a ton of sand. So the sand is actually selling pretty well and you'll be, you know, selling bulks and bulks and bulks of it. We go into the trade house here and we look at, um, you know, fuel, flame sand. You need to stay on top of the price, but you can see that people are selling flame sand for, it looks like 25, 24 FE or 999. In some cases, maybe 20, 22, but you're still going to be picking up 999 every few maps. So you just make a so much, so much FE by selling flame sand in bulk all right so i will just run a beacon here to sort of show you guys what it looks like 
And of course, usually you, don't, you won't be using a compass to force the cube, but just to make sure that it actually spawns so I can show you guys how much of those, uh, you know, desire beads actually dropping, I will just chuck the cube in there. You do have a pretty high chance of it dropping naturally or spawning naturally rather. So you don't really have to worry about putting it there. But, you know, for the purpose of this, I will show you guys. So yeah, my build is actually, you know, pretty bad. I only have about like 2 billion damage at the moment. I haven't put too much effort making it pop off, but I am running 8-0 just fine. There are certain situations where, you know, I might be. And we get the nightmare, of course. So we're going to have to go, go next. All right. So just picking up the loot from my nightmare here and going back into my map. As you can see, nightmare loot is pretty good, too, when um, you're doing, you know, deep space eight. Okay. All right. So it's stepping back into our map. Hopefully there is no more inter uh, interruptions. I could kind of show you guys what it looks like, you know, um, what those B drops looks like. And you can see that, for example, here, you'll be getting a ton of those desire bees dropping everywhere. And these maps can get a little bit messy, you know, with all those effects. And I am running, um, you know, I'm running basically the worst region for the god effects. But yeah, you can see the amount of desire bees that are just dropping everywhere. And each of those beats, you know, uh, it really adds up. Like you really get hundreds and hundreds of these per map. And, uh, you know, you can spend those and you get a ton of FE extra every map. <laughs> I, I don't know. This, this card is just insane in comparison to everything else. And, you know, on top of everything, like the cube mobs, they, they, they drop a ton of loot too. So it's not like you're just only getting the Zyre Beads, but you are getting a ton of loot from those monsters too. And, they, and their drops are getting buffed because of the cards that you are placing in there. And it's just, it's just great. Like it's, it looks, it looks impressive. Like ah, it's just a few beats, but yeah, it looks really cool. And then another thing, of course, is the God of Machine, which has a chance to be spawning on there. And this is just going to be giving you a ton of additional loot, well, especially if you actually proc, um, you know, like a, a, a currency reward or something like that. It's going to be really good in the later waves. So that's really nice. So the loot, the loot that you get from them now is totally random. It's not as good as like how it was in the past, but it's still it's still honestly like pretty insane. And I just want to kind of show you guys the kind of loot explosions that you get with these. I really hope to actually get like a decent reward so that you guys can see a full loot explosion. But in general, I think you know Auto Machine is gonna be a nice little extra thing to have on top of you know desire bead farming, which is the main heart uh, of the strategy. And there I dropped the six FE stack, so that's pretty good. We already we already made like. So much money this map just from the raw fe drops as well as all of the desire bees and that kind of stuff and all that it costs is just seven fe you know, to 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 do the strategy and if you wanted to put like additional compasses and things like that it's totally up to you nether realm resonance this season is completely free you drop so many of them so you never have to worry about spamming them and yeah so we made like about like 10 fe from um that event there if you didn't like actually doing God of Machines, like you're not absolutely, um, you're not forced to do it, but the desire, like the cube stuff, like you definitely, definitely should. Cube is just insane. And okay, we'll just run to the end of the map here. That pretty much uh, is like the show off of what it looks like to run these 8 0 deep space maps, the amount of loot that you're expected to be getting. So if I was to actually open the cube right now, you'd see that I, I only have like 46, I can only cover it once. So you are losing a little bit of, uh, you know, gambling potential or RNG there. But uh, in turn, you are getting just guaranteed loot that you're, that you're pretty much stacking up. And then when you go to the average bounty, spend all of that currency, you're going to be getting a lot of good stuff from the cube. And in some cases, you know, I've heard of, you know, friends of mine that have gotten you know, eternities and like those crazy, uh, those crazy uniques as well from cube itself. Yeah, just gonna finish this map off real quick. We'll uh, wrap it up. So yeah, definitely, definitely try out this card deck because I think the card deck is is just really good. I've been having a lot of fun running it. I've been making a ton of FE, ton of sand, and all uh, you know, sustaining all my crafting needs and that sort of stuff. I'm currently just you know, I, I played for a few hours and I'm stacked up about like a thousand FE, and that's basically just from doing the strat. And but one more thing to mention, of course, is that we do have the new season mechanic. And the new season mechanic is is pretty interesting because you know it gives a ton of extra loot from of course um, the nightmare and stuff like that. But I wanted to talk a little bit about like the points that I think that are really worth grabbing 
early on and that's going towards the right side because the right side is, has a chance to spawn this dude in your map that drops so much loot and he's like really really cool i'm not sure exactly which one he is here but nice to have him out but the main thing that you want is the additional dream stacks and the dream stacks are very useful because it lets you sort of go further into the dream and then you know have like a bigger nightmare right I, I don't know exactly how to say it properly but yeah going towards the right side and then going off to the left actually you definitely want to get 30 percent additional damage taken in the nightmare for monsters because they get pretty damn tanky and the rest can you can just funnel into drops i won't go too much into detail about the mechanic itself uh, i'll let you guys you know maybe that's uh content for another video or something like that but in general that's the strat that i've been following and i've been having a lot of fun and success with that so that pretty much sums up my farming strategy right now in torchlight infinite i hope you guys have found this video helpful or informational and you know maybe you are looking to try out the strat you know there's literally zero investment needed you just basically aside for of course the beacons for t8 deep space you could also do this in t8 or t7 but of course the drop is multiplied by two when you're doing deep space so it just it's really all that much more worth it thank you very much everybody i hope you find this video helpful at least a little bit pertaining to and i hope to see you guys again soon peace out appreciate it